You know, I very rarely record this handsome young man here. This is Steven. And his favorite things to do is just ride in a wagon. He's a three-year-old, even though he looks like he's almost 11 years old, big. He's, he's my heart, to be honest with you. And he has autism and you know, this video I was trying to make like six times already. It was supposed to be a review of that toolbox. But when we say we change things up, I'll do that a little later. When we just make this a Steven video. What's up, Timmy? He just wants to go for a wagon ride. <clears throat> yeah, he's in a, a t-shirt, a diaper. Uh, mainly when he's, when he's usually running around, it's just a diaper. And we're trying to get him used to wearing clothes. Uh, he's usually, I'm glad we got him actually a shirt on. Let's go for a ride. Introducing Steven here. He's a little persistent. He likes what he likes. And it's drizzling rain out here, but he likes to come out and ride in his wagon. This is all he likes. Yep, you talk to him. He's a sweetheart, though. Daddy loves him. I'm going to walk backwards while filming him. That's what he likes to do. Ride the wagon. Ride the wagon. Close up. Whoop. <laughs> Get that camera out of my face. Say hey, baby. Say hey, baby. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Timmy's out here walking with us, too. I don't have my selfie stick right now, so it's my shaky arm. That's what I got. Here, Timmy. Pull him and I'll follow him around. He just loves that wagon. And he has some good brothers and sisters that brother and sisters that helps helps with him a little bit. They pull him around and oh, they're getting so big. Kimberly and I kind of started over when we had him, you know, but he's a joy. We love him, but Jesus, he is such a sweetheart. Autism is just a thing where their, their minds, they operate differently. They just, they're bright. They just a million miles a minute. It could be anything that stimulates them. It could be bright colors. It could just be an object. Him, it's actually phone cords. He loves the phone cords. He'll, he'll go down there and take the phone cord and fidget it on the floor in the house just to hear the sound. Here's Kimberly. Are you? Yeah. Well, I was going to do another, try to do another review video, but I turned it into a Steven show. He deserves it every once in a while. And Timmy. It is, it is, yeah. I'm hoping so. It's middle of October and humid still. I wish I could go back to June where it wasn't so hot. Yeah, we only got like a week and a half. <sighs> only thing missing is the chickens pecking the ground. It's the only thing missing.
<laughs> Timmy, you want to trade off, bub? Come here and run this camera, and I'll, I'll, I'll do the pull. Go and get the camera to Timmy now. And I'll pull him around for a few minutes. Ready? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! All smiles. All smiles. Oh, you want to go again? Yes. That's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your turn, son. Your turn. Uh. Hmm. He he loves going fast. Golly, I ain't done that in a long time. Look at that smile. He's smiling. Yeah, he's still kind of, he's still nonverbal. I mean, he'll babble. And he loves to sing certain lyrics to his favorite TV show theme song. And he can copy words off of that. But he's not able to put sentences together yet. We're working on him. But he does know other forms of communication to let us know what he wants. For instance, he'll come grab you by the hand if he wants you to go wants to go outside. He'll come grab you by the hand and lead you to the door and put your hand on the doorknob because he knows that doorknob opens the door. And he'll want you he wants that's telling you that he wants outside. Food and drink as well. This I notice ain't a typical video I usually do. You know, me working out in the yard or some sometimes. This is what it's about right here. You just sometimes you gotta slow down and do and just enjoy this. Especially nowadays. All right, Timmy's starting to get tired. I'm going to trade off with him. What? You getting tired? Come on, I'll trade off. I don't know if I can run with you.
hit that pause button. Now, I know I said I was going to do a review a little bit later, but I figured I'll come and show you just briefly. I'll get back to Steven. So, I picked up this tool cabinet today from the Walmart store. Not any sponsor. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I picked it up because, well, I picked it up for a good reason. Uh, because it was cheap. $97. Um, 103 after tax. Uh, you know. But, uh, what are my views on it? What are my reviews on it? My review is, it's, it's, it is what it is. I mean, it's a toolbox. Holds all your tools in these drawers. They're each slides. All my wrenches in one. And we labeled them. Sockets in another. And uh, these drawers, they actually lock in place. There's like a little snap lock in there. So you really got to pull on them to get them to open. Um, you know, go all the way down. There's screwdrivers in there, you know. Finally got all my tools organized to where I can find them easier. I got saws and stuff. But the saw I do own. Flashlight, a saw, and a drill in there and a couple of drill bit boxes. It's tucked away in there. And uh, that has a lip on it that catches. So one door actually locks. It's supposed to be 49 inches tall, but I'm missing about 10 inches in the rise or about a 12 inch rise, which the pieces to it are laying up here. That's one thing I'm bad I'm gonna say about this. They sorted me bolts to be able to do the rise. So I don't have that extra cubby in the middle. Right here in the box picture, I'll flip you over and let you see it. That box picture has a cubby. Um, I don't even think that's picking you up like that. Let me turn it back around here now. Anyway, <laughs> that box picture has a rise in the middle of it, like right there. Mine don't have that right now. So I'm going to have to go to a hardware store and get the bolts myself to put finish putting it together. But the main part's there. And to me, I like it. It's a lot easier. It's got nice. And now, since it is, uh, it was a cheap model, the casters on there actually feel really sturdy. A really good quality for as, as low cost as it was. So, if you want to, uh, if you have a workshop and you have tools that need to be organized and like mine was, mine, as you remember, about a video about a month back, I did a video where I put all the tools, downsized them into this box. They were everywhere in there. I had to constantly dig things out just to get to one set of one screwdriver or whatever I needed. I had to dig almost a whole box out to get to it. Now this makes it easier. And for a low cost way of organizing your tools, this is the way to go. Now, another disclaimer. My wife and I figure why it was so cheap. It's probably because they were putting it on clearance, which means they're probably gonna try to do away with not selling this anymore, but I could be wrong about that. Because uh, usually these things sell for about $200 at Walmart. This one I happened to pick up for $97, $103 and change after the taxes were put into it. Um, but hyper tough. I mean, I don't see why it's so hyper when it's just sitting still. But tough? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, it's aluminum. You know, got a little miscellaneous catch hatch at top. You know, flip the lid that down you know now as far as it being sturdy and it not going anywhere I'm gonna test it right here it's the first time I've done this in front of the camera so push it around do whatever and it's pretty well balanced I mean it's not it has also got so it hasn't got any balance issues so it's pretty well balanced so yeah so out of 10 stars I'm gonna give it an eight and the only reason i'm giving it an eight is because they did short me some parts to finish putting this thing together but other than that i think it'll last a long time you know for 97 dollars because there are some higher end ones you know starting from like like i said from like two three three four five six on up so cheap and affordable 
way to organize all your tools. It's a five drawer one, and a cabinet, two cabinet uh, holder. That's, that's probably a six one with this uh, catch hatch. <laughs> the hood there. But uh, check these out, man. If you need some organization in your workshop, and I'm putting the workshop together. This side of the, of the uh, patio is going to be my workshop uh, from over here. I've still got stuff scattered around. There's my old tool bins. Stuff scattered around up there on the, the bench. I'm busy. I'm getting it done. We're slowly getting everything settled. I'm sorry. I'm a sweaty mess. It's humid in the middle of October. Now, thank you for paying attention to this quick little review. Let's get back to Steven. He, y'all. Yeah. Let's ride. Did he break your chair? Look at him kick back. <laughs> he broke his chair just to lay back. Switching hands, front view, and that's sweet. Well, Timmy, you want to do the outro? Do the outro for me. If you like the video, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want more videos. Uh, like as well. Peace. More to come. More to come for the backyard idiot channel. Peace. I say bye, Stephen. Hey, bye, Stephen. Bye, y'all.